If we start with patients with chronic rhinosinusitis and polyposis, the first aim is to uh, assess the extension endoscopically. We then usually start with a medical treatment and follow up the patient. Only in those cases where the uh, treatment is refractory and the patient keeps uh, his or her symptoms and the polyposis uh, doesn't get reduced is the moment we ask for a computer tomography. My, my major concern is that uh, I receive many patients for a second opinion who come uh, to my office with a huge amount of uh, CTs already being performed. And um, I think that is something we need to change in the minds of our colleagues. Only in those cases where the uh, treatment is refractory and the patient keeps uh, his or her symptoms and the polyposis uh, doesn't get reduced is the moment we ask for a computer tomography. The reason to do so is that we want to assess uh, the extension of uh, the polyposis and the anatomical landmarks which we can study in the computer tomography right before the surgery. Well, magnetic resonance images are usually not needed in chronic rhinosinusitis with polyposis. However, there are some exceptions in which uh, these are, uh, images are indicated, particularly if you want to study soft tissue. And that is the case when you have uh, uh, benign or malignant tumors or the suspicion of these uh, behind normal polyposis. And the main reason for this is that usually CTs give us the bony framework of the paranasal sinuses uh, very much better but MRI gives us the soft tissue. So whenever we have the suspicion of involvement of soft tissue, and that means orbit, that means brain, these images help you to differentiate between inflammation and tumor extension.